All right, check it out, cut. And second of all, get ready. It's time to transform. I don't know what I'm trying to do with that. Uh, the moon is gonna make a 210 degree angle to the sun in Libra. Uh, we're still coming out of the 180 degree angle, so this is still harvesting potencia, power. I don't know if it's poder is power. Power, power, power. You're harvesting power. Okay, so the social power you are harvesting really is raw power you're harvesting, but eh, the superpower you're harvesting kicked off with a masterful, raw, original, throbbing understanding of, you know, who you are, the identity of how originally you can feel expressing yourself socially to others, you basically felt like Cardi B for two days. The reason why that's very significant is now we're going to apply this inner direction of harvesting this power through grounding it physically. So it's one thing to just realize I'm him, right? And now you move for, you know, the identity of him is Himothy or, or her, Hermela. You know what I mean? It's another thing to now tangibly sense that. Yeah, you've recognized your him, your her, but what, how does him smell? Right? Okay. Not a pause. How do you smell as him or her? How do you hear? as him or her how do you look at people if you're a virgo how do you side eye bitch asses as him or her these are things you're going to really you know literally feel and manifest if you're a scorpio how are you going to death stare someone and contemplate their murder as you you know what i mean like these are things that are readjusting the sensory capabilities relative to this so all right i've been feeling this energy major and i think listen i'm not trying to be your hype man i feel like some people don't understand how reckless it is to play with their lives playing with you i feel like some people are still slow to to pick up on the fact that when people fuck with you they get instant karma i feel like you've been attracting people who have to Okay, that's very vague. Because you, I'm not saying you're just attracting these type of people. I feel like you've been running into archetypes, situations, energies that have to find out the hard way that you are not to be fucked with in any form or capacity. And I don't mean this in this vague, fake way where I'm trying to hype you up. You know, I know and you know what we're talking about right now what you hear me talking about. You have seen over the past two and three weeks what happens to people, even indirectly, trying to talk dirty on your name. And there's a causality and causation. They're not putting two and two together to realize that, hey, maybe their frustration, maybe the negativity they're feeling is because of how they're treating you. Aspects like Libra and Scorpio involve other people, which requires compromise. This is going to highlight behavioral issues in ways that certain people suck that will exaggerate this through your dealings with them. And when you deal with such fodder level characters who really serve no purpose and waste space, I know this sounds very negative, just bear with me here. When you deal with such fodder tier characters, it puts you in a position to realize and recognize the growth you have done in calling out your own shadow to account for what in the other may be creating this sense of imbalance. This is what allows these loseritos to just project on you that the issues they need to work on themselves are happening because of you. When in reality, you are exemplifying and acting in a way that exists outside their box of understanding, which makes society and societal issues a huge thing.
major societal thing. Like, that's what a lot of people don't understand. If you see a lot of people lamenting, oh, this used to be cool. Why don't people do this anymore? They're fucking stupid idiots romanticizing the past. And I don't mean in the way where you might be pondering over how certain things that were genuinely good may have went to shit or not. I'm talking about as far as pop culture, as far as literally over the past nine years, a whole lot of things that were cool are not cool anymore. This shit happens every nine, 20 years. The South Node in Libra is a departure from the previous social standards that for some dumbass reason were cool anyway. So you're seeing people go through that and realize that the shit they were talking and maybe this bravado that was based on superficial fakeness is crumbling in front of their face. You're dealing with broken people who cannot accept that we're moving forward. And that's going to look and sound like ad hominem fallacies, generalizations, and just overall bullshit about people's beliefs and philosophies of what they think you should be doing with your time at your age. It's all an attempt to control the world that is crumbling and dying around them. Let them die in peace. Make sure that that has nothing to do with you. The reason why I'm feeling and getting a little bit militant with this is the moon is gonna go over Uranus. There's a hardcore innovation of your own unconventionality that requires you digging deep into your uniqueness. Taurus is an anti-social energy. So if you get too caught up in this mean girl, and I don't even wanna say mean girl, that was a classic movie. If you get caught up into this fucking fake ass, superficial BS that most people who just care about image care about, all the people who care about image right now, they're not making it to next year. They're going to make a series of decisions that's going to prioritize how they look versus what they really are, and they're gonna die. I hate to break it to you. That's a fact. Whether through what's happening over the rest of the year or their own actions. That's that some Pluto. This is not a game. I hope you understand that. So the moon that's going to go over Uranus at the end of this transit is going to make a King Kunx to the sun in Libra that's squaring Pluto. This is going to quintessentially and unconventionally transform your entire character. Because at 210 degrees leading up from 180. Wait, Akasha. This is quite literally harvesting two weeks of activating and integrating power, all right? Allow people to make remarks. A lot of people making remarks towards you are punching their fist in the air relative to them not being able to get a reaction or, or make you feel a certain way they wanna feel. So they're, they're, of course, saving face and trying to act a certain way to look good to others, but you're fucking with people, like, you know, people are fucking with you, you have substance. All right, the moon in Taurus is going to have you ground this substance so that you can strengthen your natural senses in order to transform your harvesting power that you're downloading and transferring to your senses is going to transform how it is you relate with other people. Because, of course, when you see sharper, smell sharper, you're understanding how your values of who you are transforming. Then the way you interpersonally connect with others is going to reflect that the moon in Gemini after is going to now apply this strength and conviction and the strengthening of your senses to what you understand your thinking and how the way you communicate is going to change the meaning of how you communicate to other people. And that's why the next couple of days are very significant. The sextile to Pisces is going to reinforce this change of beliefs that you've integrated, the integrity of beliefs, and ground how much more real this comes through. And this, this is where you need to stand on business. I know T.I. Or, or King created that phrase. This is where you need to stand on business, even when it feels uncomfortable, because you may get hit with this collective social pressure in order to conform to some outright bullshit because it looks right, because it's popular. Don't be these weak little bitches who are going to fold under pressure because I don't want to be canceled or I don't want to look bad to other people. Let those sad sack of shits live their life trying to look right to the right people. You came here to actually be yourself. This is where the people came here to be themselves and not get caught up in this clout game of trying to be popular. None of those people have real souls. They're miserable and they're empty inside. You can see it in their actions. You, you can see it in your actions. That's where moving forward to the end of the year, this whole influencer culture, this whole fucking fake shit, it's all crumbling. 
You don't need me to tell you that. You see it. You have people out here looking stupid as fuck. Like, what's happening? They didn't look up. So, like, we off that. We are off that. Please get excited because we're going to close Libra season out The re coming into next week. Then we're going to step into Scorpio season and start really massacring and killing shit. Okay? And that's because you are harvesting super fucking powers right now. The moon in Taurus is actually the grounded mechanism that's going to manifest your ability to sense what you're transforming into. So at this point, we've already begun to harvest. You're already shifting the nature of your character. And you're going to see this reflected in your self-esteem, in your confidence, and in how much less you give a fuck. That being said, I'm not trying to set it up that it's you against the world and all these people are hating on you and they want to see you bad. You ain't real recognize real. Everyone else who is aligned with you in frequency and, and is fighting a good fight, they're going through the same thing. We're going through it in our own different way. And we're not like, we're not like helpless losers that just need, you know, a community to find. You out here doing the Lord's work. So keep that in mind. Dark forces, evil people who've given themselves over to darkness, people who live a carnal, fake, superficial based life. You are their weakness. That's why it's like, you're just chilling, but they're going to go out of their way to try and get you out of your element because you may not realize yet that they can't do anything else. You are a weakness to them. Just you emitting this frequency fills them with insecurity. It reveals to them how inferior they are through their own actions, telling you I am inferior. It's not, it's not like you're looking down on them being like you're inferior. They are lowering themselves with their own actions and now taking it out on you for the consequence of that because of how they make them feel or whatnot. So you're going to be more zeroed in on these social nuances and dynamics. You also want to take into account the sextile that the moon is going to make to Mars and Cancer where we're grounding this feeling and that's going to allow us to take more sincere action and charged action with that mutual receptivity or at least with that sex hall. So, you know, I hope you enjoy this. The moon opposite Venus as well, or Mercury rather, because uh, Venus is now in her hoe phase in Sagittarius. So like this is definitely going to heat things up, but more towards sparking this wanderlust and excitement of where you can take things while opposite Mercury, you're starting to deepen the processing of how psychoanalytically and psychologically you move forward. Hey, look, look at me. Forget veiled empty threats. Forget people who think that they talking shit or doing shit. They don't want smoke with you. Look at me. Look at me. They don't want any problems with you. You know this. I know this. They may not know this. They may lose their life because of it. You're going to start to notice more paranormal causation type events. And that's the whole point of the Taurus moon to stick it for you. Like there's so much your subconscious is not processing for you. So it doesn't overrule your brain. This is going to be one of those transits that kind of ground a little bit more your unfuckwittable nature. All right. I hope you don't think I'm just saying this to like hype you up or flatter you. But really take that in mind. This is that transformation arc. Then we're going to change our mindset and perception, moon and Gemini. Then we're going to step into Scorpio season and nothing will, nothing was the same, like a certain Scorpio artist, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? The real bodies, real bodies on the floor. You, you may become a murderer. So anyway, something to keep in mind. Um, that being said, you may kill people with your aura. You may look at people that look at you the wrong way and they drop dead. I'm not even joking. And so just keep that in mind, figuratively, literally take the time you need over the next couple of days to really feel into your values, how they're transforming and how that transforms who you are. Uh, P.O.P. holding it down. I'm just joking. Infinity gang. You already know what it is. Um, the foolish argue with truth. The wise listen. So y'all stay blessed as always. Remember who you are because now you're unlocking this new unplayable character that is playable now. And that comes with new extra awesome features. All right. Let let um, let the hurt people try and hurt more people because they're miserable and continue to see the gifts you're harvesting, which is going to bring a lot of jealousy. Where a lot of people, you know, tourist material, a lot of people need to hide behind assets, money and all sorts of stuff just to feel good about themselves. And people are going to be jealous that you don't need any of that. And like you on 100 and you could produce results without that. All right. Uh, Y'all stay blessed as always.